it, you know, it just exists. People, you can't trust what you don't know. So when my, for example, when my father-in-law realized that my wife, Katie, his daughter, and I were committed to a life together, it was very difficult for him. He was, he was an executive with Shawman. He opened up branches of all, all of Boston. And he had no real experience of people of color, more specifically, dating his daughter. My mother-in-law was quite accepting, and my five brother-in-laws uh, were. But after Ian was born, he never let him go. He never let him go. He protected him. He taught him to be a young man. And um, so we are just surrounded by people. This is my answer to your question about discrimination. We've always tried, even as a child, and I was influenced by my family, we've always tried to be around people that we want to be around, that want to be around us. We never looked for someone to be around. And in any color, I believe that is, it's, it's a childhood behavior, for example, when, when a young person's in the third or fourth grade and they think they don't have a lot of friends and they're trying to make friends and they're trying really desperately to become friends. At some point, you realize who you are as a person. And then you move forward. You move forward in your life. And uh, so we raise a family. We raise beautiful children. We, you know, we have a lot of fun. You know, they're older now. They're adults. But my, my, you know, it's, it's there. It's clearly there. It's always there. You know? My kids experience it. But we've always encouraged them to focus on self, focus on their goals. And by doing that, they've all done real well. They're all very happy. 